Hi, it's Wasabi. Welcome back to the channel. Got a battle on the Corellia map, and we've got uh, Pyro from 1AR Clan in the A Phase 1. He's platooned with Gatekeeper as well from 1AR, who's in the E75. It's an assault mode game, so it's 10 minute game limit, time limit, and the conditions are to win by wiping out the enemy team in that time or to cap if you're on the attacking team. The defending team, if they can hold out without losing a tank or keeping at least one tank alive um, and the enemy doesn't cap, then that's a win for the defending team. So yeah, it's different characteristics from normal random battles. Now, A Phase 1, how do you get that? This is uh, Acquired through earning tokens in Battle Pass, and you can just keep earning the tokens um, until the end of the year. So it's uh, relatively easy to acquire them. Well, say relatively easy, but you know, to earn a tank in Battle Pass through the year because each chapter has uh, almost the number of tokens that you need to get one of them. So if you can't complete that chapter, but you can play all the chapters through the year, then you can almost pretty much guarantee that you'll have enough to get one of these tanks. The A Phase 1's been around for a little while. It's a pretty decent tank, good frontal armour, uh, reasonable side scraping. Saw from the side view, it's got an unusual track layout for the two sets of tracks on each side. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the same characteristics as the Yo tanks that were released uh, the last year that have sort of double set of tracks around the same um, road wheels. So if you do get tracked in this thing, it's normal repair. So it doesn't have any sort of capability to move when it's had the tracks destroyed. All right, now he's on the attacking team and he's come up with flank here. He's got quite a few targets in front of him and some fairly forward play by the enemy side, but uh, they are lightweight tanks and that chat 25T. Quite a decent tier 9 medium tank but uh, if he doesn't penetrate then it's not going to do a whole lot. See so he's bouncing here so he's using his frontal armor quite well and he's made the bat chat 25T AP pay the price. Now what he's got in front of him now is a super pershing which has got decent armor for a tier 8 but won't stand up to a tier 9 gun. Now, particularly if you drive out sideways <laughs> that's not going to help. So Pyro make, punishing these tanks here, but he's also quite careful not to step out too far. You know, there's this tanks in the line. You can see on the mini-map the grey grayed out shapes. And there you go, that's a person re relying on HE to do at least some damage. Uh, these days not really helpful. Now, oh there you go, look, blind firing that bush, good idea, but he was just to the right of that SU-130PM. And will he get out of the way? No, he won't. But unfortunately, he couldn't switch to HE at the time. But that would have been worthwhile firing one at the SU. But also, there's a tortoise further back and an AMX 65T. So, being top tier, he's got some advantages here. Oh, there's the tortoise sitting out there. Can he put a shot into him? He's going to aim for the top hatch and it goes through it. That's an excellent shot. A bit of a low percentage one, but nonetheless, you, you'll take it if you achieve it, sort of thing. And there's a Martian down there as well. So it's got pretty good defense here from the enemy. They are laid out in different areas, but of course, they're being lit. So sitting in the back here with a decent gun, you can start taking hit points out of them. And Pyro already up to 3k. Yes, you want 30pm is just gonna go out of the way. He'll get the kill here. Oh, well he would if he managed to land the shot. But uh, that issue, just pulling out of the way. No, he might get him this time. Bang, yes he does. All right, so second shot pays off there. Now the Martian, also now out in the open. Can he get a shot into him? I can certainly shoot at him. Can he get hit? Doesn't seem to have actually connected. No sound from the uh, crew to say that that connected and the Martian pulls back under cover. The tortoise is also under cover. Now, Gatekeeper has moved quite forward there 
and he's lost a few hit points doing it. Oh, here we go. There's a leopard PTA there as well. But, uh, Pyro deciding to hold back here. Oh, that leopard PTA lost almost all of his hit points. In fact, all of them except one. But the uh, Martian pulling out again and paying the price for doing that without really getting away with it. And Gatekeeper polishes off that last remaining hit point of the Leopard PTA. So, looks like it's going to be a win, but there's only four minutes to go, or just over four and a half minutes. So, they need to start pushing here. He'll line up the Martian again, and the Martian gets taken out. And the Gatekeeper pushing forward as well. But um, Pyro continued to accumulate damage, now he's found the AMX 65T. He can afford to sacrifice a few hit points here, he's managed to maintain his hit points here and they do need to kill all the tanks, this is the second last one and I reckon he'll get him with the next shot and Artie takes a chunk at him, but he's still got 41 left so they're trying to, trying to get on top of him but um, finally manages to destroy him, it looks like a, a ram kill there so 5k there to Pyro, <laughs> he gives Gatekeeper a little tap there and in fact the arty goes down and that is the end of the game so let's go look at the results alright it's actually picked up a little bit more damage than we saw 5.7k of damage and two kills block 1600 and another 1.4k of assisted damage there so seven plus um, combined damage very nice result there let's earn him the ace tanker badge although no special medals have a look at the team score so right on the money for an ace tanker badge there with 1359 base and potentially the tortoise from fam clan epic 389 we didn't really see that play but only on the flank doing over 4k got pretty close to it as well so good play there and reasonable damage from everyone else Gatekeeper not quite getting as much damage in, but uh, yeah, I don't think he really got the opportunities. So, no great shame there. And interestingly there, the Striv K doing only 77 <laughs> hit points of damage, but picked up the highest EXP. Must have been doing a little bit of spotting. Uh, but you can see then that uh, only one tank did over 2k, being the Wolf and Traeger. So, not a great result from the enemy team. All right. So Pyro firing 22 shots, 18 of those hit and 16 penetrations achieved out of that. He had quite a few payouts happening there. This game was done um, just in the last few weeks, so still getting the holiday ops bonuses. Uh, so a very nice total there before tax of 204,000 and modicum of uh, premium ammunition. He was top tier, so didn't need to use all of it and some consumables, he made a nice profit there of 126k. So, nice game there from Pyro, thanks very much for the content. Uh, if you are watching this and you picked up something useful or you just like the video, please give it a thumbs up, it certainly helps get in front of more people. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing that, and it'd be nice to see it climb in the number of subscribers too, so that's pretty good. And hopefully we'll have some more good content to show you in the next coming days. And thanks very much for watching.